Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh Morris and today I'm going to give you seven cryptos that are making me rich in 2021 and maybe will make you rich as well. But there's no guarantees, not financial devices, edutainment, blah, blah, blah. I'll also in the process show you two trade styles which you can use, one of them being the bottom feeder trades and the other being a continuation pattern. So I'm going to show you what both of these mean while I take you through all of these seven crypto altcoins. Let's start with one called Mona. You can see I made my first purchase around here and my second purchase around here so on average I'm kind of in the middle here and we're already well on our way so I don't recommend jumping into this you're a little bit late and I'm gonna start putting sell orders at a hundred percent wow I haven't put sell orders yet geez I need to put sell orders okay so I've got some sell orders way up here but they're like really high so I've got to put some lower sell orders but this is one of the names I'm in as you can see, we're still very, very close to the bottom. So if you were to jump in here, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But I recommend if you want to get in, you want to scale in. Now, this is a bottom feeder style, right? So, oh, hello, hello, come on. Um, clicking on here, right? So you want to, if you want to get in, then you want to either get in at this 38.2 to 50% range. You can see we already pulled back into that range. So I'm not sure if you uh, are going to be able to get your chance. So that's Mona. The bottom feeder trade is down here. As you can see, I purchased right over here. And the continuation pattern would be buying here for guess what? A continuation. It does this move, it comes down, and then it continues. So that's the type of trade where you get in on a continuation, and this is the type of trade where you get in as a bottom feeder. Now let's look at ETC. This one has absolutely blown up over the weekend, and you can see that I was getting double sales over here. I bought down here. This is a bottom feeder trade. You can see where I bought right here. That's the little green arrow. And I started getting doubles over here, and I sold again over here during the weekend, We've pulled back down massively, but I don't know what the potential of this crypto stuff is. There is a potential continuation trade coming in here. So we'll see what happens with that, but this is way too late to be a bottom feeder on this type of trade. So I'm just here telling you how I'm making your my, my money. You don't care, do you? You just want to see the next potential crypto that you can buy. Well, let's look at the next one that you could buy, NLG. Can you buy it right now? Maybe, let's find out. This is an absolute bottom feeder of a trade. Look where I bought this. By the way, if you if you ever heard me talk about weekly W's, sorry, if you ever talk about, hear me talk about W's in general, this is an example of a W. Look at that W right there, right? I'll zoom in so you can actually see W over here. Very clean W. This low is higher than this low and it broke out of the middle here and that's exactly where I bought right on that center point and over the weekend it went up and it doubled in just like a few days like this is a four hour chart if I put it put this on the daily you can see that it took one two days for my money to double so I sold a little bit here and it's pulled all the way back now there is a potential for both a bottom feeder and a continuation pattern trade here so if I draw a reload zone from the bottom to the top you can see how we came smacking into this reload zone right here 61.8 to 78.6 that's a bottom feeder type of trade. If it only came to the 38.2, then this is a continuation type trade where you wait for the W. Here, it's come smacking into here. So I could have bought back again like what I sold here, but it happened too fast and I can't keep track of it. I'm too busy, so I'm sorry, crypto world. Moving on to BCH, I have just sold at a double here. I did let you guys know about this trade that happened. I've got all of these, uh, I'll tell you about these levels in a minute. But I did tell you about this trade when I took it. So you could have got in there with me. You had all this time. You had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like 20 days to get in on this with me at my level. So I can't. you can't really blame anyone if you missed it. But here we are. You've missed it. So I got in over here. And this is my sell half on a double level right here. You can see around 124%. I sold here on the weekend. And it dumped immediately afterwards heading right into this uh, pump chaser zone as Colin from Hyrox, Hyrox Labs, Hexro, HXRO. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll maybe link it below. But either way, they're all over here at TRI, the Rational Investor. So feel free to go check them out. Wyckoff is down here at this level. So that's Colin, by the way. You, you'll meet him on his YouTube channel. He's a good guy. Wyckoff is down here at this level right here. So Wyckoff is not around. He's not part of TRI, but he is a famous trader. Um, investor 
and you know the Wyckoff method. I won't go into this in this tutorial, but he, it's pulled down here and it's checked this level right here. So that's a Wyckoff check. Well, it hasn't yet, but that's where Wyckoff is hanging out. Mountain Man is down here at 61.8. That is a term by Brian Beamish, also at the Rational Investor. Then you've got this W over here. So that's the breakout W level. So it's a famous, uh, famous way to trade is to take the W level. I talk about Ws all the time. You saw it in a previous example. And another guy over at TRI, Kvark. Um, he's sitting down here at 88.6, which is another fib. So these are the levels where you could potentially get in, depending on where it Ws, if you wanted to get into this BCH trade. But right now, it's a little bit overrun. So we're going to move on to the next one, CVC. As you can see, I bought down here way back in 2019, and I've started taking double profits here now. Here's one profit, here's another profit objective. So this is a more of a continuation trade if you wanted to get in on this right now. Down from the bottom up to the top, I'm drawing this very, very loosely. It's already come into this 38.2 level, as you can see. So that is a potential, a potential buy right here, and you can see you're already doing well on that buy <coughs> right there. Excuse me. <coughs> And you want to be waiting for a W really for that continuation pattern to go back up. If you really want to be patient, then you might want to wait for reload zones. But who knows if that's ever going to happen in this type of market. In a market like Waves, it did happen. You could see I bought down here. Um, I bought down here with Waves. And I have been selling on a double and sold a little bit more on a double. And I've got some sell orders up here. But that's what's on a second car. So this is another term that I have coined from TRI. So it's not my name, but the Rational Investor. I'm going to keep shouting them out because I love it there. And I've learned everything there. So here is the trade. This is called a second car. So I have bought down here. I sold up here. And then when the price comes back down into reload zones, I, I might have mentioned reload zones a couple of times, haven't I? So here you can see the price came down into the 61.8 level. And I just bought on the 61.8 level. And you can see now that it has W'd over here. And we're just kind of testing the W. If I put this to a line graph, you could see what I mean by the W here, this big fat W and I've bought right on that W. I got lucky really, but you can still buy on this level. So happy for you. There's a trade you could actually take right now. If you buy this W, you're kind of in a reload zone. You've got the W over here. You're definitely in a reload zone of this range. If I just simply move this to this range, then you're well within the W, you're well within the reload zone right here, if you play around with the range. And then as you can see, this is my uh, first sell half on a double sort of target. I think I'm bought around there. These green arrows never get exact. So let's move on to the next trade, which isn't doing too well. Algo, you can see I've got a continuation pattern. So this is an example of a continuation pattern in motion. You can see the first wave of the move it did over here. Then it pulls back to around the midpoint and then it put in a large W. So now the continuation pattern is there. It's not a bottom feeder trade. I'm not buying down here at these lows. I'm buying in the middle of the range, expecting it to create a continuation. Now it came up and it touched these highs recently. I didn't take any profits because I'm just waiting for this trade to play out. I'm sort of doing my own version of the continuation pattern. So this isn't like from anywhere but I'm just like adapting different styles so it's come back down to my entry level and you're sitting here right now at the W level so if you wanted to get in on this right here this is a W level and you are technically getting in at the W level isn't that amazing so you could be getting in for this uh, bot this continuation pattern which at TRI they call the bot but I butcher it over here and you could be getting on, on in on this right now. So that's it for the seven crypto ideas that I'm in, taking profits on, have just gotten in at levels that you can buy, and the two trade ideas, the bottom feeder trade, which is my favorite, and the continuation pattern trade, which is my second favorite. But you have to be careful if it breaks that level, if it breaks this low, this continuation pattern low, then you should be able to walk away from the trade comfortably or you know that you've only risked 1% to 5%, so you know that it's not such a big deal. Anyway, that's it for me today. Quick video because i got a lot of stuff to do, so I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.